Hey guys, how's it going? Saw something a few minutes ago on Instagram from one of my accounting firm um, connections that I have there talking about how it's a good idea to file your taxes early because that may save you from being a victim of uh, tax identity theft. And that reminded me of a story from about five years ago that was a huge nightmare for one of my clients. Uh, this was a self-employed person who had very complicated tax returns. And so he generally went on extension every year and filed right towards the end of the extension period. And when he went to file, his tax return was rejected because he had already filed and been given a big refund. Um, now this guy wasn't due a refund. He actually was sending in a big check with his taxes. And what had happened is someone got his social security number and submitted a fake W-2 form and got a refund in his name. And the reason this came to my attention is it took him a while to get everything fixed. Well, since the financial crisis, lenders have been running the 4506T when you go to get a mortgage on just about every single transaction. They get your tax transcripts and they compare what the IRS has on file with what you submit. And they do this just to see if there's fraud there. Maybe you really don't make as much money as you say, or maybe you haven't filed your tax returns. So in his case, when we went to try to refinance his house to save him some money, he wasn't able to get his tax returns validated because the IRS kept sending back transcripts with the fraudulent data on it from the guy that filed the return first. And even though the IRS knew that they had the wrong information and they had done the investigation and determined that my client was not the person who filed the original return and they had accepted the returns that he filed, what they had in the system didn't let them verify for the lender's requirements, the 4506T. And the lender was not willing to accept the letter from the IRS apologizing. This guy got a letter from the IRS that was apologetic saying, we're sorry, we can't confirm this traditionally, uh, but this taxpayer was a victim of identity theft and this is what happened. And these returns are in fact the correct returns and the lender wouldn't accept that. Um, and it was just, it was a complete nightmare. And it took us probably a good five or six months of going back and forth. And we ended up switching to a different lender that was willing to at least read and accept the information that we had. Cause this was from the IRS. Uh, what, what the first lender wanted us to do is get the information fixed so they could verify it with the 4506T. Um, by the way, this is one reason that it's super important to work with a mortgage broker, uh, with an independent mortgage broker when you need financing, because if for whatever reason, some lender has a, a stupid block in their system where something just can't proceed. If it's that way, we just pick another lender. And so we try to do whatever we can to make things as easy as possible. Um, it's very important though, that if you have any indication that something is wrong, that you try to nip that in the bud as fast as you can. So in the case of this guy, when, when his CPA got the rejection of his e-filed return saying that they already had the return, um, that was when they started working to get that fixed. Anyway, if you have any tax questions, don't talk to me, talk to your CPA. Um, but if you have mortgage or credit or real estate questions, you can talk to me about those. Or if you need help getting to the bottom of some identity theft situation, um, let me know. I'll do what I can to help you. Anyway, um, hope you guys are having a great 2020. Mine's off to just a crazy fast start, which is making it harder for me to come and put together some of this content for you guys, but I'm going to do better on it this year than I did last year. If there are any topics you want me to address, please let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.